The bolt underneath that isn't. All right, GoPro, we are putting this winch. This is the Smitty Built X20, 10,000 pound winch on the bison. And we are trying to take these guys here out. And we're already having a problem with this one. So, so far we've taken off that silver part there in the front and we've taken off this bottom piece there. So there's only four screws on that bottom black piece and then six screws on this front silver piece. And this is kind of what you get. You just got to take all these little little clips here that we got to pop off to get this plastic mold out all right so update we got all of this off we just took out this plastic thing that goes right in here so here we go that's where the winch goes and right now there's a skid plate down here on the bottom that, that right there is the hole where your um, connect and disconnect goes for the winch so you can free spool. And that is not gonna work for me. Because if I'm stuck, I'm stuck past that point, so that's kinda stupid. But uh, anyways, we're gonna take the skid plate off here. And uh, we'll get you cut up. All right guys, so I got this mini built winch. And the winch goes in sideways like this. Because these feet go forward. And uh, so you can't, undo your uh, free spool so we're just going to pop this off rotate it up and put it back on and then we'll put the winch in now you'll see why oh. all right youtube so we got the winch situated it's going to go like this so the feet face forward right here and we just turn this guy around you just unscrew all these little allen and there's eight of them and then you rotate it to what degree you want. So now the winch sits sideways and uh, we are going to put it right here. And then there's the uh, AEV fair lead that goes in right here. But then the AEV gives you a, a plate, this plate that goes right here that you use to put the uh, electrical box for the winch. I don't want to put it underneath here because I don't want to have to pop my hood every single time just turn the winch on so we figured out that we are going to mount the electrical box right here somewhere and then it can go straight up to the battery so we're going to see how that works here in just a minute well yeah instead of running this well it has to hold up to the battery right all right cut the hole in this thing because i put it so it's in there you can see the winch yeah. and, so put the and then we need to there, cut another so not cut, but drill some holes here because that's of, this is where we're going to mount the uh, controller for the winch. And I'll show you that here next. It don't matter. All right, YouTube, I got the winch in. The winch is in. The fair lead is in. All the And then there's two more bolts that go right there that come with the winch. And then these are like four inch long bolts. These come with the uh, AEV kit but we got these on but they're not on uh tight right now because we still got to put this piece on first and before that piece goes on that silver piece over there has to go on first so uh anyways we're trying to get the winch mounted so we got it mounted backwards so the electrical is facing up on this side which is exactly the way we want it and then we got the uh disconnect here um and what we got to do is cut a hole in this plastic thing which you saw me do a second ago. I cut a hole there for the winch. We had cut another hole here for the handle. And then we got to do a mounting bracket on that side for this uh, for this uh, box. It's gonna get mounted right there. We're gonna, we're gonna mount it right inside the bumper right there. So it'd be awesome. Um, right now, we're trying to wire it up first, so we got we're cutting and making our own wires. The only thing we got to do is the ground. The ground that goes here on A, instead of running all the way to the battery, there's a bolt that goes right here. 
and we're gonna use that bolt instead. So we just gotta, the ground wire they give us is like, I think it's like five feet long. So we're just cutting it and soldering on another end uh, to make that work. Okay, YouTube, so this is what we've got. The winch is in, okay. Fair lead is in. These bolts have to come back out to be able to put the uh, front bumper and the skid plate back on. Anyway, the winch is upside down. That handle was usually on the right side. So anyways, the winch is upside down. So that way when the rope goes in, when the rope goes in here, it goes over the top of this drum to not create a bind. Otherwise it would go under this drum and it'd be in a bind right here all the time. So we went around that way. We loosen all these little screws here to clock it around. So now this is up here. And then on this side, we have all the connections made. And the negative cable goes to this bolt right there. And then this wire just comes around, it's going under this little piece of the frame to go to this electrical box. So the box can sit right there. That's the plan. And then the other cool thing too is it comes with a power cable and the battery is right there. So it should be a very easy run. Now this thing, I had to cut the hell out of this thing. This is the uh, plastic piece that goes in that front bumper there. And uh, I'll flip it upside down. There is a cutout here for you to uh, cut out for the winch. You can see the winch. I cut this out for the handle to engage and disengage the plugs. And then on this side, we cut this out for the electrical box. The electrical box is gonna sit right here. And we ran two bolts on the side, bolts and nuts, we have to get through two from underneath. And uh, the on off switch will be right here. And then you'll see the uh, X20 emblem, which is kinda cool. Well, that's what we're doing now. What's up, Chad? All right, YouTube, so we got the winch on. Billy's putting on the rest of the bumper. So the winch is in. There's the hole for the winch. You can see the red winch rope. Flashlight here for you guys. There's a red wrench rope and then there's the cutout I made for the handle. Here's the box. All wired up there. And the wires fit right to the winch so we don't have to extend any wiring. And it comes up from down here. Wrap it around. Zip tie to the battery. So now what I am working on is I took this brand new synthetic rope and boom, cut it. Because I'm about to splice in my uh, Factor 55 uh, this one here. All right, YouTube, we got it. Bison has a winch. Install went pretty easy, actually. We only had a Jimmy rig, one thing. Good old Uncle Jimmy. So here it is. We're uh, stretching it out now. There's the uh, the handle. And then there's the winch itself. Cut out for it. You can see that. And the control box. Get your on off switch here. The winch. Fair lead, all looks great. Go ahead, Chad, give it a couple bumps. Got the parking brake set to like five clicks. 